Hello, it's a pleasure um, to give you a presentation on our paper on um, prior methylphenidate exposure in children treated with guanfacine um, extended release. Um, my name is Michael Huss, I'm head of the department of the Child Adolescent Psychiatry, um, uh, Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz, Germany. On the next slide you see my co-authors and the funding and support, which you can see in detail on our paper. Uh, now, what is exactly guanfacine? Guanfacine is an alpha-2 A agonist um, approved for treating uh, ADHD children um, in Canada and the US. And in Canada and the US, it's um, both as monotherapy as, uh, and as adjunctive therapy for ADHD tre uh, treatment. In Europe, it has been recently um, approved for treating uh, as a, a ADHD children as in monotherapy. Now, if you decide to go for a non-stimulant medication such as guanfacine, um, it's clinically interesting to look whether prior methylphenidate exposure may have an impact on the clinical outcome. And for that reason, um, you see on the next slide we took two uh, large studies, um, large guanfacine trials. One is an active comparator. Um, Atomoxetine and guanfacine is compared with rapid placebo, a classical randomized controlled trial, and another study which um, has a design of a uh, randomized withdrawal drive trial. And here, especially, we used the open label titration phase. Now, um, coming to the next slide on the patient's disposition, you see in the randomized controlled trial, uh, we did have. 174 uh, children uh, stimulant naive um, to compare with um, 142 prior methylphenidate exposure. Um, and in the randomized withdrawal trial, we did have 207 uh, patients as compared with 224 um, prior methylphenidate um, exposed. Um, in both studies, there was a question they used to assess the reason for stopping a methylphenidate um, treatment. Um, and primarily, it was the reason that there was a lack of efficacy. Uh, in some cases, there were some uh, side effect issues. Uh, now, coming to the result of our study, um, you see on the next slide that guanfacine um, has the same uh, efficacy um, in both arms. It does not make any difference. But in atomoxetine, surprisingly, only in the um, stimulant and naive arm, there was a clinical significant, um, there was a statistical significance, but not in the arm um, where um, the, the children were um, exposed to methylphenidate prior to atomoxetine treatment. And interesting to mention that this is in line with um, recent um, a, a recent meta-analysis by Schwartz in 2014 um, showing that a prior uh, methylphenidate exposure decreases the efficacy of atomoxetine uh, in many, across many studies. Now, um, looking on the right-hand side of the slide, you see the same effect um, in guanfacine in both arms uh, in our uh, random, uh, um, randomized withdrawal trial in the open which is a cross-validation of what we saw before. Now coming to the conclusion, we can say um, GXR has, has proven to be efficacious in this study, um, to both in, in prior methylphen exposed as in the drug naive um, children, which is not the case for atomoxetine, uh, which showed only um, to be efficacious um, in uh, drug naive patients in line with other um, evidence so far. Um, this finding might help uh, clinicians um, to decide um, how to optimize therapy um, in children with ADHD, especially when it comes to the question what um, was prior um, treatment, what is pot potential sequential effect in clinical treatment. Thank you for your attention.